Hey there, guys. Still in the cave, as it appears. Sorry for the lack of videos for the past couple of days. Family stuff came up, and personally, I've been in a spot. But we're back now, and that's that's all that uh, all that matters. So now we're out of the cave. We bought, or we bought, we go. Oh my goodness, it's evolved. Avidin. Mr. Smiley, you will become that. I really don't think we're able to play right now. Uh, uh -uh. But, uh, hey, I glimpse at what uh, Mr. Smile will most definitely become. I'm assuming this is a spot where I can. Yes! Give you that defrosto berry. Hey. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's actually... I think that's gonna be... No, I think we're right at the... Yeah, we're right at the town, never mind. But hey, we gotta revive now. Don't have to drop 600 on that. I think that's how much it costs. Either that or 1,200. I don't... I don't remember. I never really usually bought um, regular revives. If I bought them, I bought uh, the max revives for the Pokemon League. Did you know Tandor was formed by two volcanoes? Both are dormant now, but the Vibrabular Championship takes place over one of them. Well, that sounds very safe. Ah, I've lived in Rochefell Town since I was a little girl. The mountains are rough to live in, true, but I'm hale and a hearty as any young lass. <laughs> I, I want to do like the old lady laugh from like anime with like, ah, 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 but I can't do it. Unless that was good, huh? I don't know. Alright, so. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna deposit a Pokemon. Sadly, I think it's gonna be Goobus. You done us proud, Gooby, but. You didn't do us proud. I'm probably gonna eventually level up all these folk. But right now, we're gonna get Osiris into our party. I'm gonna try my best not to use him until we're all the same level, but he's gonna be that character we fall onto. Um, was the music like this before? These are really good. It's amazing how the economy functions when half the population of given regions are trainers. Trainers who don't work. How would they ever feed ourselves if we didn't have a Pokemon to help? But I do get paid. I, I beat up innocent children and I get paid. What does this sign say? Logan Rochefail, watch for falling boulders. Ah, oh, fair enough. Let's go in this person's house. What the heck is that? Blam, kapow! I want to be a superhero when I woe up. Heck yeah. Our Luna pub faithfully guards our house every night. On full moons, though, it won't stop howling. Talk to me, dog. Pup, pup. Fair enough, I guess. Where's the rat? Is it up here? Yeah, alright, here we are. We're gonna go in here. I think we need potions? I think. Hold on. Yeah, we need potions. Don't need to worry about Pokeballs, we need potions. I need 12 of these, so let's get six super potions. And we're gonna drop the rest of our dash on regular potions. There we go. Alright. Let's talk to this old lady right here. When I was young, I lived in a big city. Now I just live here in the quiet countryside. Fair enough. It's very rainy. Hey you, I'm playing with my brother. Don't interrupt. I'm interrupting. I'm training my Pokemon on my game. I'm gonna beat my sister at it someday. She better train them than you. Yeah. Those kids in their video games. When I was a kid, we played outside in the dirt and we liked it. Wait, oh god, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Those kids in their video games. When I was a kid, I played outside in dirt and we liked it because we was better for it. <laughs> god dang, where are 
One day, my son tried to go into Comet Cave to catch his own Pokemon. I had to drag it back. Alright, great story. Let's go into the room because we're creeps. How fast so? My cousin over there is crazy about Pokemon, but he never leaves the house. I wish he'd get a, uh, I wish he'd get a job. Are you a trainer? Do you have Pokeballs filled with Pokemon? Hey there, stranger. How are you? That's a cute bag you got there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hello, I'm a Pokemon enthusiast. I see you are a trainer. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for one Pokemon in particular. If I just can remember what it's called, if you can help me, I'll give you a reward. It was sort of fat yellow snake. What was it? I don't have a fat yellow snake. Well, sorry, friend. That yellow snake. That door just opened. Hold on, I want to see something. So look at the uh, door to the bottom right that's going to be there. Oh? Well, ah, that's weird. Alright. Well, hi, Goobis. Tanda Ranger works seriously to protect the environment of its citizens of th this region. I can read. You're a trainer, aren't you? You remind me of my son. He's a trainer, too. Is it Theo? So many houses. Ooh. You're pretty. Hey, are you a Pokemon trainer? Sweet. Listen, would you be interested in a trade? I'm looking for a Tufarong. If you have one, I'll trade my Palis for it. Tofurong? Uh, that's the fat frog, right? Right? I think. Where do we even go? Uh-oh. Hunter! Not unexpected. It's good to see you, mate, but unfortunately now isn't the best time. There's been an emergency in Cypress Labs. We're all incredibly flustered, so I went out to try to do something. Although, actually, uh, what I need to do now might have been a lucky break we needed. I can't explain here. How about you come back with me to the lab? I'll introduce you to Professor Cypress, and she'll give you the lowdown on what's uh, happened. Uh, follow me! Wait, but what if I want to stay here? What a bland-looking person. Ernest, you're back! Did you find the thief? Is it this kid? Listen, kid, you picked the wrong lab to break into last night. Wait, Lily, ho hold on. This isn't the thief. This is this is Hunter, my research assistant. They happen to be passing by through town. They're a Pokemon trainer. Hmm. Pokemon trainer. Are they trustworthy? Of course they are. They're my assistant, are they? Besides, their father is Kellyn, the ranger chief. Aha! So you're Kellyn's kid, huh? Well, I suppose I can trust you. I'm Lily Cypress, the Pokemon professor at this lab. You'll probably figure out what's going on by now. Last night, while we were out, someone broke into the lab. They stole many of the Pokemon we were keeping here for research. But it's strange. They completely ignore the most valuable thing in here. There are, uh, there on that table, a prototype Pokemon speech translator. It's a cutting-edge technology we've been developing. There are some who would go to great lengths to get their hands on it. That's what's got us so baffled. Why would someone break in if they weren't going to steal the PSD? Hey, Goobus. You're back. What did you find? I managed to recover one of the stolen Pokemon. This fellow was hanging out in Route 6. This is excellent, I have an idea. Let us use the PSC on Owen to find out. More about the thief. Odin. Ow. Scary, so scary. Was in my Pokeball asleep and suddenly am moving. But not human friend. Taking me and others out towards Mountain Cave. Dropped my ball, I free. Where the mountain cave? That must be Route 6. Ah, maybe the thief is still there. With the rest of the small Pokemon! Ah, 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 ah. This is a good lead. Somebody give that Pokemon a treat for its hard work. Now the question is, how do we catch this thief? They've got the stolen Pokemon on them, so they could be dangerous. I can help. There are Pokemon here. Ah. They have earned two badges already. Is that so? In that case, Hunter, you know, it might be exactly what we need. According to Owen, the thief wasn't, or is still on Route 6 to the west. If you look into it, we'll all be able, or we'll all be in your debt. In order to help you with your investigation, no, I know. Why don't you borrow a prototype PSD? That way you can talk to any other Pokemon you find to locate the thief. Oh boy. Please be quick, we're all counting on you. 
Okay. So that was at the very top. So we gotta go to Route 6. I think it was this way. Right? Do not what? Do not forget to bring some potions. It's very low. Okay. Four or it? That means I can live. There are a lot of uh, Otens over there. Oh, now! Can I go here? Human bad. They see I'm willing to budge. If I put on a repel, would that move them? Hey, bud. 10 10. No human allowed. Oh, God. I think I should run. I can't run. I don't want to fight them. They're just trying to, like, get by, yo. Yo. Charming me pretty hard. Ooh. Well, let's see what the Cyrus can do. Growl magnitude slash and endure. I don't. I think it has levitate, so I'm not gonna risk using magnitude. It doesn't matter anyways. Alright, we're good. I am so sorry for murdering that poor bird. No! I'm not a human, don't worry. I'm a byproduct of human engineering. I was produced by a scientist and another scientist, or a ranger and a scientist. I'm a purely a robot. They are really keen on charming. Oh boy, two times. Alright, well, switch back out. Throw a Goomba. This is frustrating, to say the least. It's like they don't want to attack us. They're just like, hey, yo. Hey. Well, alright. Switch out for Mr. or not Mr. Smiles, um, Cat Onion. Got my own baby's name. Throw on our good old leech seed. And die in the process. Now we'll try a metal top. Alright, so we're gonna switch out to Green Onion. Give him a good old orange berry. And yeah, we'll uh, fight this next Odin next time.